a different conversation topic. We've got the Inkuhuma lionesses. Now, Chris Rogue, you sent through the update that there was a lioness at the pan this morning at around 4.30 or just after 4.30 in the morning. I don't know that it's one of these two. The reason I say that is there's no tracks leading from this carcass towards the pan, so it might be one of the other members of the Pride that's come through for a drink. We'll probably go and investigate that a little bit later. She might, one of these lionesses might have walked a different route to the one I expected, down to the pan. Either way, we've got an exciting morning planned. And I think we've got the same two lionesses, the very pregnant lioness, and then the youngest member of the Nkuhuma Pride. If this is your first time meeting them, this pride consists of five lionesses, or usually consists of five lionesses. They're a little bit scattered at the moment for a very good reason, I believe. And I think that's largely due to a number of pregnancies amongst the females and a couple of estrus cycles thrown in as well. So some of them have been off mating with the dominant males in this area. The others have been caring for brand new cubs. And that's why our ladies are a bit split up for now. Which is why I commented on the fact that I'm glad that they managed to keep their buffalo kill away from the hyenas. Two lionesses make a good team. Obviously they made a good enough team to take down a smallish buffalo. But warding off a clan of hyenas is a different story. Not too long ago Dave and myself watched as they were chased off a kill that they had made by about probably I think we counted 14 different hyenas that had banded together and I was a little bit concerned that during the night that would be the case today but they've managed to keep that safe. So while we try to figure out a good position to view our lions through 